Hey everyone, it's Ali Lindley here from One Number. We're Tableau Education and Consulting Experts. And today we're going to take a look at Donut Charts 2.0 in Tableau. If you don't know how to build a donut chart from scratch in Tableau, maybe take a look at this video first, where I'll walk you through the basics of building a donut chart. But today I'm just going to show you how to add two elements that I think take your donut charts to the next level. Those two elements are this sort of custom diverging color palette. So based on the returns percentage, Tableau is now coloring our donut charts differently. And the second thing is adding a swap a field parameter into our donut charts that we can change whether we're seeing orders for category or orders for segment. Also, if you want to follow along with today's tutorial, the workbook is in the description. So you can just fire up that workbook and you don't have to start building these donut charts from scratch. You can just dive in uh, right where we're going to start today. So if you're following along, go over to the starter sheet and click on the sum of zero marks card. So we're going to start by building that color palette. So the first thing that I want you to notice is that measure names is on the color tab in the marks card. Now that's fine, but it just means that Tableau is going to give us one color for the returns percentage, one car color for the returns remainder, because Tableau with measure names on color colors the name of each measure. So what we're going to do is drag measure values on top of measure names and just replace it. What happens is that we get a single measure values color legend. So I need two, one for each measure. So right click on measure values and say use separate legends and that's worked. So the first thing that we're going to change is the returns remainder percentage. That needs to be the gray bit in the donut chart, not the colored bit. So to make this gray, we're just going to kind of work around this a little bit and do a classic Tableau hack and choose custom diverging. And then just make sure that you choose two of the same light gray colors. So in this case, I'm just choosing silver and silver. I'm making this a step color and put as few steps as possible, which is two and hit OK. And now you see that, OK, our gray bit is sorted and that's fine, even though it looks like, you know, Tableau thinks this is a nice diverging color palette. It's just one color. So what I'm going to do now is hide this so that that's out of the way. And now we can build our uh, our proper color palette. Okay, so let's double click on this returns percent. Uh, and I'm going to choose, I'm going to hit the drop down and I'm going to choose something like, uh, we could use temperature diverging. Uh, or we could use something like red, yeah, let's use red, green, gold diverging. That's going to be better. So the, the first thing that I want to note is that this color palette actually needs to be the other way around because the fewer uh, the fewer returns we have, the better. So zero should be green and you know the high value should be red, red, red. Now, the one thing that I have done is I've added in some advanced uh, you know, color points here, a start point, an end point, and a center point, just because um, I, I think this is a helpful tool to flag, hey, if we have returns over, in this case, 17.5%, we should flag that. This is super useful for your business if you know we don't want any returns over 10%. So uh, set your center point for 10 so that everything over 10 gets colored in that sort of yellow to red range as opposed to green. Just a little side note, but that's what we've used here. And then we could always check use the full color range. And in our example, we used a stepped color. So maybe click step color and add in five steps. And let's hit OK. And suddenly we've got our diverging palette, which actually works really, really nicely. And of course you can tweak that however you like to make it work for you, uh, but that is quite a nice touch, I think. And let me just quickly say, we're gonna take a look at that parameter now, but if you wanna learn more about Tableau at one number, we can help you or your team learn more about Tableau really quickly with our expert led classes. We're super excited about the classes that we've got coming up over the next few months, and we would love to see you there. So for some more information on those, check out this link uh, or the link down in the description. We really would love to see you there. Okay, let's build this parameter. So I'm going to start by hitting the drop down and clicking create parameter. And I'm just going to call this, uh, I don't know, swap a field parameter or something equally as inspired and creative. I'm going to choose string. My data type is string. And I'm just going to type out the fields that I want. And I'm just going to keep this simple with category and segment. You can add in as many as you like, play around with this and see how that works. I'm going to hit OK. 
It's now down in my data pane and I'm gonna right click and show that parameter. So I can play around with this now, but it doesn't do anything, right? Because a parameter needs uh, some kind of constant to replace. What I mean is you've got to hook it up to an action in Tableau. Currently, although it's changing, Tableau doesn't know what to do when it changes, so it just does nothing. So what we're going to do is we're going to use a calculated field to hook up our parameter selection with an action. So I'm going to call this uh, swap a field. I'm going to use the case function, which just says something like, in the case of our swap a field parameter, when you see the string category right in the parameter value, then show me the category field. So that's my identifier. When you see category in the parameter, then show me the category field. That's my action. Let's do this again. When segment, then segment end. Okay, so now we've hooked up our parameter with an action. We can say okay. And this is the field that we want to drop onto our columns shelf in place of category. So now when we click segment or category, that's changing, which is really nice. We can do some small things like hide this header. So right click, hide field label names for column. And now we can maybe update the title if we like to something like uh, how many, oh no, it's percentage here. Uh, what percentage of orders were returned for, and now let's hit insert and choose our region and our parameter, swap a field parameter. And once we hit apply, that's going to change for, oh, of course, this needs to be like the central region, you know, something like that. The central region region. And that'll work. Okay, I'm not gonna, you know, take take too much time with that. But I hope that that's been super helpful. Uh, feel free to leave your, leave your feedback or your thoughts in the comments. And we'll see you next time for another Tableau tutorial.